Welcome back to my video um, for C++. In this video, we are going to touch on array, the common algorithm for processing array, the function, um, you know, the uh, to receive and also to uh, return, yeah, and also the multi-dimensional array. So we'll be talking about two-dimensional or more than two-dimensional array. Right, so let's have a look at the array. Um, let's say um, the question might be, you know, why we we need to use uh, array. So let's say you have uh, to write a program to store a lot of data with the same type, like you know uh, the students' marks, for instance. So you have ten students. So what you normally do without array is, uh, let's say. You want to use integer so you're probably going to have like uh, students one students two and students three and so on until um s10 so imagine that you have hundreds of students so you probably uh, need hundreds of different variables yeah so s1 s2 s3 until s100 so that's the reason why in c plus plus we have the concept of array yeah so um, if this is how we declare the a variable for the array so you have the name of the variable uh, the variable names yeah you have the variable names and then uh, followed by this box bracket and then um, depending on uh, the number of data that you want to store so for instance if you need 100 spaces so of all variables to store integer so you just put 100 and semicolon yeah so i just want to give you an example example if let's say we want to store four or data of integer and we call that um, variable as uh, x so in this case we are actually declaring a variable which is an uh, array yeah uh, we call the name of the variable the variable is x so it's actually what happened in your memory you have this x at the positions of zero yeah and x is at the position of one x position two as well as x at the positions of three yeah all together you have one two three and four so this is actually in your memory you are allocating four spaces uh, to store uh, the data type of integer right we refer the first element of the array as zero so if you look at here you know you can uh, see the increments of this number 0 1 2 and 3 so in fact if you replace this with a variable you can use loop to access that yeah? for instance like you know x um, you want to put y okay so if this y uh, is a variable that can be changed from 0 to 3 so you are actually you can use that to access every single element all the variables of the array yeah so let's say you want to assign the value of all of these with the value of y itself yeah? so you can use for look yeah? you can use for you can use while you can use do while uh, as long as you uh, you know you should get uh, this y to be like 0 1 2 and 3 yeah for integer y so you're going to start with 0 so if you need uh, 4 times of loop so it's supposed to be y less than 4 right and then y plus plus all right so you want to assign this with y so what is this um, instruction is doing is actually to assign every single element with the value of y so you'll be getting like 0 1 2 and 3 as well so if you want to display this you just want to look at the output yeah? after you key in then you can uh, have another loop here just to 
display that so text y yeah. or you can uh, change this to z or any other but that, that that's fine you can use y as well because this is in different scope yeah after you run the program so you'll be getting 0 1 2 and 3 as the output yeah. so if i can put this it is easier for you to see the the output yeah. so you'll be getting like 0 1 2 and 3 all right so uh, this is um, uh, the algorithm so you uh, can access the uh, array using loop either for while or do while all right so um, you can um, take this out let's say you want to create um, like um, a function yeah you want this function this is to be done out of this main memory yeah so you probably uh, you know you want to call that function like uh, what is the name of the function assign you want to assign the value of uh, y yeah uh, the value of y this to the array so you want to definitely need to give the array and you must have the uh, the function called assigned and you have to uh, receive the uh, array let's say um, what is the name of the array yeah I call it as a uh, for instance yeah a and this is an array right so um, so in this uh, function actually you want to do this so as i said that we want to um, to do this so um, when you receive that you want to change this array all right look so this x is actually the address of this uh, a variable yeah so you call this function that you want to create after this you call it as assign which is actually to assign the value of y to the array so this array is a so a will be receiving the address of x so actually this a array of a will be referring to the same array of x so whatever changes to a will definitely change x as well so all right and then uh, since the functions actually can return array so you just do this pass the uh, reference yeah so you should put void there all right so this is uh, x so this is how you should uh, write yeah the first element can be uh, empty later on i will show you for the second uh, uh, part which is the multi-dimensional array so how we can use this in a function all right so in this case you are actually giving this x to a a will be changed or will be assigned to the value of y and actually you are assigning x in fact yeah and then um, after that uh, you want to display this x uh, and then you you will be getting the same results as supposed to be let's run the program all right so it will assign 0 1 2 3 4 okay let's say if we want to add with 2 yeah. right oh sorry 2 3 4 and 5 so what i'm trying to say here is that whatever changes to array a it will change the array of x because we are giving the address of a what do i mean by the address so imagine uh, uh, i think uh, i will show you uh, if let's say we want to to know what is actually uh, x yeah so this is x when i run this right so this is the address of x yeah this is the address of x so since you have number two here i think i 
okay so we can also in fact you know if you uh, display the address of the first element yeah what is the first element it is x zero yeah this one all right so if you want to display that how you have to put the n sign right i x is equal to Just to make sure that you can see clearly the output, which one is which. Yeah. All right. So I want to show you uh, whether or not that this will be returning the same uh, result. All right. If you look at here, the address is it's all actually all the the same. Yeah. If you look at the, these these. Uh, this x is actually referring to the first address of the first element so what you can do besides of uh, uh, giving the x you can also uh, give the address of the first element all right so you'll be getting the same answer Okay, because this address of the first element is actually equivalent to this x. So the address of the first element can be also represented by the variable itself, the name of the variable itself. So for instance, in this case, it's x. Yeah. All right. So this is uh, how you transfer or how you call um, an array uh, in, in a function. All right so now um you probably um i will touch most almost all of these but um you know this is just an instructions for you you can uh, browse further after this and um the last one is multi-dimensional array so this is one single dimension of array because you only have one you know it is in line like x zero one two three so if it is in a matrix form like two by two right so you have uh, uh, like um, two by two and you know, then you have four of the combinations yeah so it just it is just like the y and x axis um, so if I put here four so this is how we write the second dimension yeah so in this case you are actually um, uh, having four by four it's about 16 yeah? 16 uh, of variables uh, of array that you can use to store the data and these can be referred using the two-dimensional array x0 1 this is the first row yeah this is the first row and then uh, so the first row is 0 0 sorry yeah? 0 0 0 1 and then 0 2 0 2 and x 0 3 right and the second row it is going to be like x 1 yeah. x 1 this should be 0 and this one should be x one one and so on yeah it's uh, one two and one three until the last one is actually uh, x three three yeah so you have all together will be four times four you have 16 um, a number of uh, variables that you can use to store the data all right so i'm going to remove this all right for multi-dimensional array, it is better for you, know, you, you, you can only use this x. Um, right to and uh, to call the data or to to receive the the variables of array, yeah, for multi-dimensional array, for the 
um, function you can leave the first one as empty but you need to put the value or the variable that representing values so uh, uh, here yeah um, because you need that um, uh, you know for the system to to know uh, the numbers because you need to assign these uh, the drawback for array is actually uh, the number of elements must be fixed it cannot be open yeah, it cannot be open so you must put the value here or by assigning uh, like you know if you um, if it is an empty for instance yeah and in order for you to assign the value and then you can uh, put the value like this yeah this is initialize how you initialize the uh, variables of array all right so even though that this is empty but because of you assign or initialize the value uh, to this array this will automatically in fact is equivalent to two even though you don't put that but if you don't have this yeah this is an error you cannot like uh, declare an array with an open value so uh, you cannot do this but uh, in order to solve this problem we are going to touch on vector uh, after this video yeah all right so you can have a look at that after this all right but array that is the problem so you have you must put a fixed um, value a fixed number of um, element for the array if let's say you have 100 of students so you have 100 and you could, you need to put 100 but if you have more and you have to change uh, you know you have to add the, the 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 array itself yeah but for vector you can start with empty and then you can keep adding the uh, array yeah so that is a uh, vector we're going to learn in the, the video after this right um okay so um this is how you initialize right or you can uh, initialize the two-dimensional array by having like you have to decide which one is uh, the so in this case if you um sorry So if you initialize this like this, so this is actually the first row. This is the second row. Yeah. So you are actually uh, declaring uh, a variable of array which is two times two array. Yeah. Because you have one, two, one, two, and this is actually the position of zero, zero. Okay. This is zero, zero. This is zero, one this is one zero this is one one yeah all right so um i'm going to do that so i i want to assign to like an array of four by four and um okay in order for you to um, assign this uh, two-dimensional array so you need to use a um, nested loop to access this because you want to access the first loop using uh, to access this and the second loop to access the second matrix yeah so um, in this case right uh, this one you must remember yeah uh, the function should be getting the array and the last value oh, uh, should be uh, initialized yeah you can leave this one empty it's okay so uh, how to do nested loop I hope that you already um, watched my previous video about um, looping and then I will just uh, copy this Alright, and uh, maybe I can use X here. X, X, so that you know the X and Y. Right? 
so um, in this case I want to assign for every value of x and also uh, every value of y I want to assign um, that number yeah? y plus 2 right so in this case right we are actually trying to access every single element in 2 or 4 by 4 uh, array all right so um i want to display that i just simply copy this you um, with the X yeah I will probably will just use a and B here so that um, you can access through a and also B, yeah okay so um, it will this one in this case it will print out very long so i think i want to put the enter all right so that um, after the first row and it will uh, press enter and then it will print out the second row third row and fourth row yeah when I run this program, so you should be getting this, right? So you'll be printing, you'll be uh, printing uh, this out uh, four by four matrix, yeah, two, three, four, five, and then uh, you'll be printing it out four, four times, all right? So this is actually um, how you declare the two-dimensional array, and then how you call in your um, functions the two-dimensional um, array okay guys thank you very much 